in the previous video, in the previous video, we answered question uh, B9 under organic chemistry. And so it was about the processes that are involved um, when ethanol is oxidized, ethanol is when you remove water from ethanol, which is dehydration, when ethanol undergoes complete combustion. So I mentioned that the only process that was missing was fermentation of ethanol, uh, fermentation. Okay, now here is the question under fermentation. Ethanol is a product of many fermentation reactions. The molecular formula of ethanol is C2H5OH. Okay, draw first question, which is question A. Draw the display this molecular structure of ethanol. The molecular structures, this one is the uh, formula. Molecular formula C2 H5 OH of ethanol. The structure formula you always start with the carbon atoms, which you and if it's a single C to C. Then this side you add this hydroxyl. OH is not hydroxide here, it is called hydroxyl group. This is the functional group for um, all alcohol, all alkanos or alcohols. So we have hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, and hydrogen here. So they completely surround the, um, the number of carbon atoms. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, numbers of hydrogen uh, atoms. So this one is not a hydrocarbon because there is oxygen. Okay. Let's go to B. So question B is saying, when ethanol is heated with potassium dichro uh, dichromate 5, it is converted to ethanoic acid. Yeah, true. So listen. Ethanol undergoes oxidation. The first one, oxidation, you form ethanoic acid, and also when it is when you use potassium dichromate six, not seven six, um, it you form also form ethanoic acid. So what they're saying is, what type of reaction is this? Uh oh, this is oxidation reaction. Okay, oxidation reaction. Number two, B2. Give one safety rule to be observed when handling ethanoic acid. Give one safety um, rule when handling ethanoic acid in the, in the lab. So one of the safety rules is that where appropriate appropriate safety gear okay so, so where appropriate safety gear such as gloves goggles all right and other and others so where appropriate safety safety gear that is see, the safety the safety rule to, you can observe when handling with ethanoic acid in the lab. Okay? Question C. So question C is saying, ethanoic acid reacts with ethanol in the presence of a catalyst, in the presence of a catalyst to produce a new substance, a new substance. Give the name of, give the name and deduce the formula of a new substance. Guys, when if this ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid, the product will be an ester, and the reaction is called esterification reaction. Okay, esterification reaction. So the product will be since you have ethanol, ethanol, and um. 
ethanoic acid ethanoic acid so the name of an ester ester so this, this reaction is called esterification when ethanol when an, an alcohol react with a carboxylic acid is called esterification so the name of a compound that will be formed starts with the name of uh, the alcohol so to be ethyl ethyl then this one ether ethyl um, ethyl ether ethano ethano et so they end with the um no et the 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 the, uh, the esters so it will be ethyl ethano et why ethyl from an alcohol then the last party from a carboxylic acid so if here we will use um uh, meth methanol it will be methyl ethanoid if you use propanol propyl propanoid uh, ethanoid okay it's simple as that now what is the chemical formula what is the formula formed for ethyl ethanoid okay ethyl ethanoid water is removed during this reaction so so the formula that will be formed for ethyl ethanoid ethan is ethanol is c2 h5 o h then for this um ethanoic acid is ch3 ch3 c o o h okay c h3 c o o h then water is formed water is removed so carboxylic acid remove uh, loses the oh and this one the h so when combining let me just mention this so that it helps you in the exam just remove the hydroxyl group here and from here just remove the h to form water so when this and this one react what will be formed is what will form water and just join what is remaining let's start with the acid which is c h3 c o o c2 h5 so this one is for carboxylic acid and this one is for um is for the alcohol so this is the formula which is further simplified as in, how many carbon atoms do you have here when you look nicely you have one two three four since we have two here two three four so the formula for ethyl ethanoid can be c4 how many hydrogen uh, uh, atoms you have three three plus five eight so it can be c4 h8 or how many oxygen two so c4 c4 h8 o2 as the simplified formula for ethyl ethanoid okay so this is the name and this is the formula or this one simple um next question is compare compare the rate of reaction of ethanol uh, what is this ethanoic acid okay ethanoic acid is a weak acid it can react with a metal such as sodium and magnesium so you have acid which is a weak acid so an acid and a metal that's the key the products are a salt a salt and hydrogen gas a salt and hydrogen gas now what are they asking they're saying compare the rate of reaction of ethanol with sodium and with magnesium so what you can say is 
uh, since this is question what d1 so with sodium mm, ethanol will react vigorously with the water okay vigorously with water wow or than than with the um that is this is potassium magnesium than with magnesium Okay, so this is very simple. The reason the, the reason is like this uh, is, is is like this. Magnesium, oh, ethanol will react vigorously with uh, um, not with water, sorry, with sodium. With sodium, producing producing hydrogen gas here and the salt than with magnesium. The reason is very simple. The reason is sodium is more reactive than magnesium. If you place them in the reactivity, uh, reactivity series of metal, sodium is above magnesium. So the reaction of uh, this acid with sodium will be more vigorously than, vigorous than with magnesium. Okay, then with magnesium. Then, um, the other question, second question is um, what will be observed when aluminium is added to, to ethanoic acid? Give a reason for this observation. When aluminium is added to ethanoic acid, <coughs> so, So when aluminum is added to ethanoic acid, the product the product will be oh let me just say let's just say so we can say a lot of observations and what will happen. But what we can say, bubbles will be uh, bubbles will be observed. Bubbles will be observed as the hydro gene gas is produced okay then the other product will be since we've used aluminium and um, ethanol it will be it will be aluminum uh -oh. so the other product will be aluminum we've used ethanoic acid so it will be ether ethanoate aluminum ether no it as will be the, uh, the salt in this case as our salt then um the other product will be hydrogen gas okay then um, the other question is the other question is
Give one use. This is three. Give one use of aluminium based on the observation made in 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 D. Aluminium ethanoid. So aluminium ethanoid. The observation here, aluminium ethanoid, is used um, is used in the manufacture of anti. And perspirant, okay. And perspirant. Now, and perspirant. This is a product that is applied to the skin, usually under the arm, uh, uh, arms, to prevent um, perspiration. Perspiration, which is sweating or producing a bad odor. So, this is an anti. Perspirant. So aluminium ethanoid is used as more like a deodorant to prevent a bad odor. So and it is used in the manufacture of anti-perspirant. Okay. So it is used in the manufacture of so you can say it is used in the manufacture of based on the observation here there are a lot of uses of aluminum but here they've said use um the usage should be based on the observation of med okay so it is due to the manufacture of anti perspirant okay That's it. Do you have another question? No, that's it. So these are the solutions to question C, C3. Okay.